Hi there! I am very excited to explore and learn English with all of you. I am Teacher G. Join me on this fun journey of learning English in Lingo Bingo Thursdays of Teacher Vibal. Before we move on to our English class today, I would like to invite you to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll in Vibal's Happy Homeschool program. Visit happyhomeschool.ph to register and check out Happy Homeschool packages. Check out Happy Homeschool standalone courses in English and in Writing and Communication. Just look for the details in the description. Before we proceed, we will be answering these three questions. First, what are homonyms? Second, how do we identify homophones and homographs? And third, what are the different types of homonyms? Are you ready to learn? Let's go! Take a look at the given pair of words. Do you know how to read them? Are the pair of words pronounced the same or different? Can you also recognize their meanings? The pair of words you just read are what we call homonyms. Homonyms are words said in the same way. They can either be a homophone or homograph. Homophones are words that sound exactly alike although they are spelled differently and have different meanings. Homographs, on the other hand, are words that are spelled like another but have different sounds and meanings. To tell homophones apart, you need to know what each one means. Let's look at the examples here. Sent. We send a bouquet of roses on her birthday. Scent. Smell or fragrance. I love the scent of roses in bloom. Scent. Money, usually coin. We did not pay a single cent for the roses because we gathered them from our garden. Do the words scent, scent, and scent sound the same? Yes. How are they spelled? Differently. Do they mean the same? No. This is an example of homophones. Sound exactly alike, although they are spelled differently and have different meanings. Here are more examples of homophones. How about homographs? Read these sentences. Note the words in bold. is the word in the first sentence pronounced? Wind. How about in the second sentence? Wind. How is it used in the first sentence? And how about in the second sentence? Do they mean the same? Homographs are words with the same spelling but different pronunciation, meaning, and origin. You must know how a homograph is used in a sentence for you to find out which pronunciation and which meaning are appropriate. Here are some homographs to study. Bow, to bend at the waist. Bow, as in violin bow. Bass, a deep voice or tone. Bass, a kind of fish. Read. To utter aloud written words. Read. Past form of read. Lead. To guide others. Lead. A type of metal. Minute. Unit of time. Minute. Very small. Let's test our knowledge today. Choose the correct answer in the sentences with homophones and homographs. Number one, my dream is to blank a blockbuster screenplay. Answer, 
right. I keep an extra blank of shoes in my locker. Answer, pair. Number three, my friend's house is close to the park. Answer, nearby. And last number, Jack's bicycle has a flat tire. Answer, rubber wheel with air. Good job, kids! I hope you will remember our lesson for today. It's important for children to recognize homonyms because an English word may have more than one meaning. Learning them will help you identify the correct meaning of the word based on how it is used in a sentence. I had fun learning with you, but I have to say goodbye for now. I hope that you will join me again on our next adventure. And oh, don't forget to share this video and bring your friends with you next time, okay? Once again, join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll in Vibos Happy Homeschool program now. Just go to happyhomeschool.ph Visit happyhomeschool.ph to register and check out Happy Homeschool packages. Check out the Happy Homeschool standalone courses in English and in Writing and Communication. Just look for the details in the description. Still, this is Teacher G. Like this video and subscribe to Vivao TV and turn on the notification bell to hear more from me and other teachers and Teacher Vibal soon. See you on our next Lingo Bingo Thursdays for more fun and exciting exploration of the English language. Thank you.